Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is a Twin Flames reading for the week of July 14th. Messages from Divine Feminine! I am Divine Feminine! Yes, that is exactly an accurate representation of what Divine Feminine sounds like. <laughs> divine Feminine. Yes, I am a Divine Feminine Twin Flame. You heard me. I am a Divine Feminine Twin Flame. Und my Twin Flame, who is a super delicious female, and let me tell you something, she is really sexy. Oh my goodness. So fine, so fine. Guess what though? She's what you guys call divine masculine. And I really wish you would stop doing that because the truth is that there is no such thing as divine feminine or divine masculine. Those are just labels people came up with a long time ago to describe something they thought that they were seeing, but seeing is not believing. And those of you who have been spiritual people for a while should know that by now. What's really going on? I'll tell you what's really going on. It's just energy. That's really all it is, is energy. That's it. <clears throat> if you're a man watching this video, I've got good news for you. There's no such thing as divine feminine. Gender has completely zero to do with it. Zero, zero, zero. All right, so I kind of messed up positioning the little crystal here so that I know where to start. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, we'll call it good there. All right, so there you go, guys. Twin Flames 101, there's no such thing as divine feminine or divine masculine, all it is is a polarity. You and your twin flame are one soul. It's one energy with two polarities. That's it. That's all it is. Your soul polarizes at the astral level so that it can exist here on this physical plane. That's all. That's all. Now, when you meet your other self, it's very triggering. That's for sure. And it changes you fundamentally forever. Forever. Yeah, for the rest of your life. If you are interested in a private reading or even better coaching, because you know that's my shtick. I may have a dick, but coaching is my shtick. Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything, Kurt? Please! Go to my website, TwinFlameAllStar.com. That's TwinFlameAllStar.com. You can get your very own private Twin Flame Tarot reading. 45 minutes, $99. The reading itself takes about 25 minutes, maybe 20. And then when we're done, we're going to talk. Why? Because I'm a coach, guys. I'm a teacher. This channel is not about tarot readings. This channel is about how to get you into union with your twin flame. So if all you've been watching is tarot readings, shame on you. Shame on you. Really. Really, guys. Learn something. It's sad how many views my tarot readings get and then all my other videos get 1,000, 1,500. That's too bad. That's too bad. People want to stay obsessed on tarot readings. They want to know if things are going to happen with them and their twin flame. And what I'm trying relentlessly, tirelessly to do up here is to tell you to stop asking if it's going to happen and start figuring out how it's going to happen. Do you see the difference? I knew you would. 
I knew you would. So please go to my website, twinflameallstar.com and sign up today. It's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So there you go. If you are living in Colorado, United States, please go to Facebook and search for the Colorado Twin Flames Society. If you would like to meet other people in person, face to face, and you are so lucky as to be living in Colorado or an adjoining state, you can join us over dinner. We're doing a little hike this month. We're going to go hiking, right? This is Colorado. That's what we do here. <laughs> if you are not living in Colorado or an adjoining state, no problem. You can still find me on Facebook. New World All-Star Twin Flame. Huzzah. Huzzah. There you go, guys. Happy Sunday. Looks like it's going to be a good week. Divine Masculine is creeping on ya. Creeping on ya. Dreaming of ya. I'm dreaming. I love her. Uh. Divine Masculine. We love Divine Masculine. Beautiful. Amazing. You know, there really is no Twin Flame journey. Everybody wants to make this the Twin Flame journey. And once again, my message that I will keep repeating over and over and over again is that the truth is, this is not a Twin Flame journey. It's a spiritual journey, and that is all it is. That's all it is. Your Twin Flame is there to trigger that, and that's all. That is really and truly all. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look, the Seven of Swords in the reverse. I'm sorry, in the upright. <laughs> the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> the month of July, we're pretty much right smack dab in the middle of it. We're between two eclipses. The number seven. We got a seven here too. We're all about the number seven. Divine Feminine. You're not being honest. Someone's not being honest. It's time to let go of all that old shit that doesn't serve you anymore. Let it go, Divine Feminine. Yeah, I'm talking to you. But Kurt, I'm doing so good, really now. <clears throat> Why are you still sitting around? Watching tarot readings. Well, well, now, wait a minute, Kurt. You do tarot readings. Yeah, and I can't wait to stop. What? What? What did you just say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, big fucking truth bomb, you guys. The twin flame journey is really just the true spiritual journey, and that's all. That's all. Other people have a spiritual awakening that come to them in other forms. Yours just happen to be meeting your other self. The object of meeting your other self is not to be with that person. It's not. <clears throat> it's for you to enter into ascension. If and when your twin flame comes to be with you, it is nothing more than a byproduct of that work. That's all. So for you to sit here and obsess over your twin flame, you're kidding yourself. You're kidding yourself. You wanna buy a tarot reading from me? I got one better. Buy my introduction to the journey course. Do something about your situation. Look at how this page of swords is coming out in the reverse. <clears throat> Divine Feminine ready to take off on an adventure ready to burst with change and immaculate joy but not quite gonna do it something is holding you back what is it look at this justice next to the Queen of Cups 
recent past towards your situation. And to me, this is really just kind of blaming external things. Oh, I'll get to it when, I'll get to it when, I'll do it when, I'll do it when, I'll do it when, I'll get to it when. <clears throat> Are you really and truly being honest with yourself about what when is? What's that old saying? If not now, when? Divine Feminine, you are your dreams. Everything is within you. There is nothing separate from you. And again, tirelessly, I will repeat my message again and again and again. You are all things. You are all things. Divine Masculine, well, this is good news. How are we feeling towards Divine Masculine, recent past? You guys have been doing a fabulous job. A lot of you are moving away from this physical person. Six of Swords next to the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords! In the reverse. Moving away from that clingy energy, but there's still this sensibility of waiting. You know how to get out of that? Just get out there and live your life. Seriously, seriously. I don't know what it is and, and, and everybody does this, okay? <clears throat> don't be so hard on yourself if you're thinking, oh gosh, maybe he's right. What am I doing wrong? Nothing. This is just me giving you a little bit of a Sunday morning wake up call. But here's the thing, your ego is addictive. And most of it is subconscious. So seemingly a little bit out of your control. What can you do? Live your life and move forward like there's no tomorrow and you're gonna do you no matter what. I don't care if I ever even hear from him again or her. And just do you, live your life. That's what I would do. And I've been there, guys. And you know what? It worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Look at this. Five of cups in the reverse. So this week is going to be all about getting over it. <clears throat> getting over it. You are highly encouraged to start being honest with yourself about what you want. What do you want out of your life, Divine Feminine? Stop sitting around and waiting. Stop obsessing over this person. Stop trying to figure out when it's going to happen with them. You're it. You're it. The whole object of this is it to be with the other person. <clears throat> That's the big thing that everybody's confused about in the Twin Flame community. How do I get this person to be with me? It's a paradox. It's a paradox. The object of meeting your other self is to trigger your spiritual awakening. Nothing else. If they come to be with you, it is a byproduct of that work. Period. End of story. Your focus is your ascension. And, uh, you know, a little bit having a hard time keeping your focus this week. Three of Pentacles in reverse, but next to the High Priestess in reverse. So not asking for permission, Divine Feminine. Not asking for permission. I go directly to the universe. I go directly to source. I don't need permission. That's great. That's great. But having a little trouble staying focused. That's why that Three of Pentacles is coming out in the reverse. And I get it, there's this energy, there's this energy, but overall, letting go of the strife, letting go of the painful patterns. Don't worry if you feel a little out of focus. This is all perfectly natural. This, this is what we're letting go of. This isn't meant to scold you. The tarot isn't here to point its finger or shake its finger at you. 
It's telling you what's going away. All these patterns, all this dishonesty. You should actually be very thrilled about this week's reading. A lot of bullshit is being let go of. You're not going to be kidding yourself anymore by the end of this week. Now look at this. How do we feel towards Divine Masculine this week? Five of Pentacles in reverse next to the Judgment card. Okay, so releasing this sense that you experienced some loss. And here it is, getting over hard times. And it's paying off. This is it. This is it for a lot of you out there in the Twin Flame Collective. It's not going to be very long before you're saying, you know what? Kurt's right. Fuck it. I'm moving on with my life. I don't care if I ever see this person again. Thank you very much for the lessons that you taught me, but I'm good. I'm moving on. All right. It's Oracle card time, guys. It's Oracle card. I'm going to shuffle these, actually. I think they need a shuffle. Let's give it a whirl. Shuffle the old Oracle deck. All right. Let's do it. What does the Oracle have for us today? Maybe one of those. Ooh. All right, I'm going to keep going. I think it's one of those. this one. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. I saw this temperance card and I said, it's going to be willpower this week. Would you look at that shit? Would you look at that shit? Man, that Oracle deck has been on this week. Just on. Just on. Oh my goodness gracious. Now, what did we talk about? <clears throat> Was it last week or maybe Friday? I don't remember what it was, but it was meditation, right? Make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're taking time. Make sure you're laying low, taking it easy. Don't do too much. And think about it. What do you want? What are you waiting for? Seriously, are you waiting? And don't kid yourself. Think about this. Make a list even. Write it down because... Everybody does this. How are you waiting on life? What ways are you sitting around waiting for it to happen? Why do you watch tarot readings? Are you waiting for it to happen? You're watching tarot readings because you want to know when it will happen? I've got something better. Make it happen. Do it. Be it. Become. Oh my God, you guys. All you got to do is go to my website, twinflameallstar.com, and sign up for the Introduction to the Journey package. Set yourself free. Set yourself free. Now, look at this. Temperance, most likely outcome. Temperance, willpower. This is all about you. Not waiting for it to happen for you. Will it? Do it. Become it. Live. Live. Let go of these old patterns. You're going to anyway. You might as well just do it consciously and more quickly. Now look at this. How do we feel towards our situation? By the end of the week, this tarot reading is going to resonate with you fully. I mean, look at this. Queen of Wands, which in my book has always been either Divine Feminine or your Twin Flame, and obviously this time it's Divine Feminine, next to the Hermit. You, 
you're going to realize the true value of living a lifestyle of Zen. Living a lifestyle of Zen. How much will that improve your life and living your dreams? Living your best life. Don't sit around and wait for it to happen. People that obsessively watch tarot readings are trying to figure out when it will happen. Why don't you go make it happen? Live your best life. And look at this. You're, not, you're just not even interested in divine masculine by the end of the week this week. Seven of Pentacles, the devil in reverse. There you go, guys. Not even given a fuck. So you can either do this unconsciously, and it's going to feel very uncomfortable, or you can do it consciously. And therein lies the convenience of tarot readings. Kind of a catch-22 or a paradox. So there you go, guys. Be the light. Be the independent one. Make your own calls. Live your life for you. Do it for you. Do your own spiritual ascension and do it for you. Will your twin flame come to be with you? Yes. But it's only going to happen if you let go of them energetically and emotionally and the whole smash. The fastest way for you to do that, do your life and make it an amazing one. Mwah! Happy Sunday. Powerful reading. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.